even at work. It's just a drive for five. Caroline McHale can't hide who she's rooting for on Sunday. I can't stand it. <laughs> it's very exciting. Very, very exciting. From replica rings to hats, her fandom matches the intensity of one of her favorite players. I won't wear that jersey until Sunday. So you can imagine, this Patriots fan has a superstition. The gloves, when we have the ball, I have to be wearing them. Or two. I'm wearing the same jersey with the same jewelry. It doesn't stop there. And the same pants. I have a certain pair of flip-flops that has bling on them. Four. And the gray underwear of the Patriots color. Sure. <laughs> Well, some superstitions are more embarrassing than others. And you can bet millions of Falcons fans are reaching for their lucky shirts. And some people just have to sit in that perfect spot on the couch during every game. So what drives us to take such drastic steps? I'm a big sports fan. Yeah. I like the Philadelphia Eagles. Psychologist Allie Mandelblatt shed some light on the science of sports superstitions. We want to have a sense that we have some control over a game of which we have no control over. She told me having that control relieves the anxiety we feel when our team is on the field. I don't know what it is. I know it's crazy, but it's fun. Caroline is too anxious to even ask her magic eight ball if her Pats will win. But you can believe she'll be doing her part from 2,000 miles away. And Dr. Mandelblatt says that's okay. Enjoy it. It's a uh, it's a Super Bowl. Your team's in it, and and if these thing if these superstitions make you feel better, indulge. In Jupiter, Charlie Keegan, Fox 29 News. We've got you covered.